Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 21 on CDS view. In this session, I'm going to show you the sorting option in CDS uh, because we have a few alternative options uh, to use the sorting process over here because we are using ABAP CDS. So directly we are not able to use order by concept. So I'll show you how to use it through table function and there is a small kind of a trick uh, we can achieve it the same sorting option with another aggregative function called max okay we'll get into that slide so the first is order by is not possible in above cds so far we are into above cds only uh, so we are not in hana cds view so order by option is not possible in above cds hopefully you might try it as well so order by is not possible. Group by is you can do it, but order by not possible. And uh, to alternate option to achieve the sorting process is a table function because table function is a place where you can do a, a kind of a SQL process in the table function procedure. But here we are go with the table function because we need the sorting option in the CDS, not in the AMDP level. Okay, not in the above layer. So I'm going to use a table function option to write uh, order by uh, syntax or the process. And the another one is with CDL's max functionality. I tried with this option and it worked well for me for my business scenario. And uh, you have to just try and you need to consider the database uh, data volume as well to use this uh, max function. Uh, I'll show you what I achieved and if it is feasible, you can also use it for your business requirement. We'll get into the system directly now. Um, yeah, this is my system, and uh, I'm going with table function first. So let me create my CDS view data definition CGI table function for sorting. Sorting functionality by table function. Next, and I'm in a package, so I need to use my transport request, which I already created, and I want a table function <clears throat> template and click finish. And um, here I'm going with uh, without parameters, so I don't want this option. And uh, here I'm going to get uh, the purchase order item in the designing order. So it's basically I want to take the latest operation uh, item number of the purchase order. Okay, so let me go with return parameters i want m a n d t i need a bell and purchase order number i need vlp okay so i want m a t n r and i want m a k t x as well okay so this you might have how to create a table uh, function KTX. Okay, all the data elements. So the class name, I'll go with CGI sort and so get PO by descending. Okay, that's it. Table function is ready. Act to attack. Then, uh, yeah, Zach is successful. Then go to create a class in the same package so the class name is cgi sort sorting po this is correct the name yeah cgi sort click next and this is also need a transport request because this is under a package click finish okay so this we have done many times. So I'll go a little fast. 
so create public is not required and i need the interface and my interface is if am dp marker on a database okay and uh, i need uh, static method the method name as get pivo descending so get pivo descending and this is for a table function and the table function name is cgi table function sorting okay so this method to be implemented so come over here method get pivo descending control space bar by database and it's not a procedure it's a function okay function sql script and options this is going to be read only and this is using i'm going to use ekpo table and makt table okay uh, for a material description okay so now i'm going to write directly return so if you want to do some manipulation you can go ahead with your own internal table get the data and do the manipulation and finally send the data to your table function but here i'm going to do return mandt ebeln ebelp and uh, i want mara sorry uh, matnr matkx maktx okay from i want ekpo okay and here i can use left outer join uh, with makt on akpo dot matnr equal to makt dot maktx sorry matnr okay and here i'm going to use order by order by ebelp so i want the item to be in the designing order so desc okay let's see um okay the end method is not there okay done so this is ambiguous because the column is the particular ma entity is available in both the table so we have to mention from which table you want this field and this is also available in both the tables m e k p o as well as m a k t okay almost we are done and this is the option we have used inside the table function you can't use order by in a cds view directly so order by what are the fields you want and in the designing order okay just afterward it and execute your table function now okay it's activated successfully then go to table function and press f8 hopefully you'll get something yeah um you can see 35 okay i missed one because the distinct i didn't add it that's why it's take more records like duplicate records so i had to use distinct excuse me activate it again then go back execute it yes uh let me have this 75 quick filter so it just take the ebelen uh sorry item number eblp as the first record because i used descending operation so whenever you want to use the order by concept whether it's ascending or descending by default it is ascending uh, for a particular field or more than a field please use table function concept because order by is not possible in your cds view directly and on top of it if you want to create any cds view on top of your table function if you want to create any cds view along with the input parameter based on your business requirement you can get the data whatever you're looking for in the same descending or ascending order okay so this is one way to do a sorting the proper way to do, do a sorting so now um, I faced a, a scenario where I need to sort it without using a table function concept. Okay, the same process. I want to get the latest item number of the purchase order by using uh, the max functionality. Okay, let's see how to do that. And depends on your data volume, depends on your business requirement. If it is feasible, you can use it. So CGI 
Uh, this is entirely new. Okay, it's not depends on your table function. It's a new uh, CDS view I'm creating. Sorting. Uh, so CDS because I need two CDS view over here. Click next. Okay, and go to transport request. Next, it's a basic view. So I want a view template. So it's CGI sort two. Okay, just a view name. And here I have to use EKPO. Okay, and the key fields are Berlin and i want the maximum means the latest one latest uh, uh, item number as because uh, any aggregation function or any function needs a alice name so you can go the same name or different name okay that's it and what is the issue okay yeah, group is missing yes I'll, I'll come there so i have to use group by because we used the max function so group by purchase order number okay so here i'm not using the matner or material text because you have to use group by for all the fields so that's why i used i'm just getting only the maximum uh, latest or maximum or latest um, purchase order item number okay this is my first view and the next i'm going to create one more view definition zji sort tree okay so target just give name some relevant name you can give next this is also a normal view and finish so this is my zji sort tree so now i'm going to get the data from um, my previous CDS view CGI sort two okay and I'm going to have some association or left auto join depends on your requirement left auto join with EKPO on CGI I didn't use the allies name so that's why I have to use my table names fully over here and EB Abelin is equal dot ebeln and i want item number as well dot eb is equal ekpo dot ebelp okay that's it and if you want to use uh, matner matks everything you can continue with association left out of join okay so here the key fields are uh, key fields i want ebeln which is our number and i want purchase order item then material okay uh, here also the same thing will come which table you want because this is available in both the views okay active order so now what happens the source uh, cds is has only one um, record for a purchase order okay it takes only the latest purchase order number based on the item latest purchase order item so it has only one record so based on that i'm going to get all other informations from my uh, another cds view z sort 3 because in a source CDS, I'm not able to add Matner because whatever field you add, you have to use in the group by. So that is not fulfill my business requirement. So that is the reason I have two different CDS views. So here I used max option for the sorting purpose. Okay. So this is not the actual way. This is one of the way which I found to uh, process or to do the sorting without a table function concept. Okay. Let's see. Just execute F8. So now you will get only the latest number so maybe i can filter it by okay instead of filtering let's see any 20 is there uh, 
nope okay so these are the uh, purchase orders let's filter by only the order so make sure it returns only one record and remove the item number so it just take only the latest item number of this purchase order okay so this is the basic idea on top of it based on a business requirement you can add whatever is uh, relevant for your business so this is another way of getting the uh, any field in the designing order without using table function concept okay so hope that might useful or needed for any of your business scenario just try and if you have any questions please let me know i am happy to help thank you so much for your time see you in the next video